Okay, well I've passed through Sheepfield. Had to rescue a, not a baby lamb, but one with horns. Uh, he wasn't, they weren't too big, the horns. He was trapped in the fence. I got him out. He was so relieved. He ran to his mum and had a good drink. Uh, for some of the lambs, they've still got all their fur on, I've noticed. I thought that's a bit wool, you know. Most of them have been sheared, but there's a couple. They've got they still got all their winter fur on. Anyway, I rescued him. He was so relieved. He looked back at me after and said to say, thank you, Sheila. Thank you. I've rescued a few over the years. They go in that square fence in like this. They put their head in. Their horns get caught. I have to calm it down. I stroked it on the back, said, look, it's all right. We're just going to pull your horn down so you can get through. One, as soon as you get one horn through, the other will follow, usually. Right, I'm just looking out for where the cows might be. They, hopefully they're right up there. And I'm going that way in a minute. Possible. It depends if it's a really big herd. If they've gone and put more in, it could be dodgy. But so I'm just plodding on as usual. I'm not going to panic. I'll find a way around it. I always do. It depends which way they're moving. Most of the cows seem to move down that way in the evenings. Um, but it depends. If there's a new cow herd gone in, they'll all be frisky. So this is Piney Sites Farm that I've told you about a million times. It's the 29th of July 2022. The Commonwealth Games started today. Uh, we're supposed to be getting a, another freaky heat wave, which they're blaming on climate change due to pe human beings. Um, so, I don't know what you do about it. Like, they reckon we've reached tipping point where you can't get back. It'll be too late and we'll all frazzle eventually. Some people reckon we've got 20 years left. You just don't know, do you? If it starts, because well, it's not just England, you've got to think of like places like Africa where they can't grow, they're so dry and parched and drought, real bad more, more than it's ever been. People are starving to death anyway. There's no water, the animals are dying, and it, it's looking bad. And then you've got a stupid Putin carrying on with that war. It just seems madness to me. Oh, it's real madness. How can you have a bloke like that out to kill everyone? Thousands. And his own. And yet the planet is struggling. In many ways, I think we don't deserve to be on the planet. And I think we will all be eradicated. I don't know if we will have some... Well, I won't get to Mars, but I don't know if my descendants will. Or my DNA will be used up there. It's got to be stored in very cold conditions. Well, there is cold up there as well, mine. <sighs> Otherwise, the protein bonds break. If it's too hot or too cold, I think. <sighs> Round to see my favourite tree in a minute. I'm only just, just starting to feel a lagging a bit now. The knee has just started to say, mm. it's alright though, it's alright at the moment, feet are fine. It's done really well me knee actually, I wasn't expecting it to be this good. I was still going to go out. And here we come around the corner, now am I on? Can't always tell, yeah I am on, so that's that. Here's my big tree in its full bloom, in its full glory now, this July. Absolute glory it's in. I'm going to get neck ache tonight. This bag has been heavy all day. I should really get one with waist straps, like my big green one. I didn't want to big the... I don't know why I didn't bring the big green one out, because basically I used it when I was away. 
when I did the Lorna Doon thing, I was going to use my big green bag. I didn't get any of this sagging. <sighs> Some people carry them in the front, you know. <sighs> They'll save their neck and back. Hi, big tree. Hi, big tree. You know, pleased to see me? Ah, I have to come to you for power and strength. Oh, big tree. Oh, big tree. Oh, thank you. I'm trying to pick up some power from you to get me back. Look at it in it's all its glory. Big branches. Oh, photosynthesizing like mad. Big old branches, aren't they? Right, I've just got to get over there. Yep. Here I am, Sheena, the last slog, the last slog everyone, bye big tree, we've got a break in your branch there, fresh break. Now we've got an hour to get to the top, at least the gorge. We need to be there by the latest it's got to be half past four. No, half past five. The latest. But you can't rush in this heat, you see. You can't rush in this heat. Lovely little garden, isn't it? Lovely little garden. I wonder if they've pruned up here. It was very brambly last time I came. Lots of stinging nettles. Uh, it looks a bit clipped. Yeah, where the stinging nettles have died down a bit. Another stone style. There's a lot of harvesting going on. Lots of bales of hay being sacked. It's not even August yet. They seem to be, I think they're stacking while they can. I don't know if we've been growing more wheat or anything. It could be. They might have to start using the fields for growing our own crops. Like more of them. Might have to. Bring in, I mean, years ago, every, a lot of people had allotments. Like a lot of households said. Right, if you've got a garden that. I'm still videoing. I video so much this place. Oh, there's cheddar. <laughs> of course, the other week I just did a cheddar gorge walk. Um, I found that plenty enough actually. On that particular day, I didn't want to do anything more. Oh look, there's a little tent up there. Look. A little teepee for the children, I expect. 
yeah, I um, only wanted to do the gorge that day. I think I was knees were aching a bit or something. Um, yeah, I knew I had to get out for a walk because uh, I've only had maybe two wood walks or maybe even only just one since I came back from Porlock. Um, following that massive hike. I just got to find out where the cows are. But I'm going to turn off for a bit now, take some photos. Right, the last hike. Going down through the permissive part of the wood now. The gate, up until very recently, they're bricks up the gate and they're saying it's too dangerous to use the other route. Now, the thing is, I've stopped using it myself for quite a while because of my knee playing up the jolting. Um, so, I reckon people will still go down it though. I reckon they will. These are new poles. Um, it is a dangerous route, but if you're careful, people have been walking up it for centuries. I decided not to do it myself because my knee, because of my knee's dodgy. It's more, it was doing too much <laughs> bumping and jerking when I did that route. I've run down there before. I understand how it could be dangerous though, so, um, especially going down. So this is the route, this was once the quiet route that I always thought nobody knew or not many and we had this to ourselves. This is going to be turning into a quagmire. <sighs> to be quite honest, this will become as dangerous as that one because of the slidiness of the mud. It'll, it'll, it'll turn out like that. To be quite honest, it will. Maybe they'll open that one up again if they ever put proper steps in again. Well, this one's dangerous. I expect they'll ban the whole bloody Cheddar Gorge one day. You won't even be able to walk around the top of it. Glad I got my videos. <sighs> yeah, this place would be overrun. You imagine tomorrow on a Saturday. God, I'm glad I'm not coming over tomorrow. I've been lucky today, because I haven't seen nobody. Sorry, I have seen a few lost people. People going out in the heat with no water, no map, no idea where they are. That includes a cyclist from another country. No comprehension of what was entailed going up and down Cheddar Gorge on a bike to get to Pretty or ever so in her country they have a very good cycling network they have roads for cyclists you know what I mean they actually have roads we don't we haven't even got bloody um, cycling lanes yet properly yeah, this is going to get terribly worn, I'm afraid. I think this will turn into a river. Well, I reckon people are still... Yeah, some people will still do it. Unless they've fenced it off down the bottom. I mean, I... I like to have a rest. The reason I did this walk in reverse... So I didn't have to walk up the hill. But to be tell the truth, walking down it can be just as painful on the knee. Well, not painful. Tiring on my joints. Yeah, I'm getting the... Well, hopefully the last bus will come. It leaves at 20 to 6. I'll find it on the... Uh, I mean... Do for a bit later. When I get down the bottom. I won't do it yet because it don't won't even be leaving Wells at the moment. 
but if I track the other one that's on its way now I can see where that stops see so when we get down a bit further let me just check the time again that one will be on its way if you look at it about five past ten past if you look at that that's just left wells right give it a bit more time if you look at that about five ten past get it about five past go and see if you can find the little bus and then we can see we can track it Make, see if it's going to Twin Town. Okay. There might even be some messages. Oh, this is all right. This is cool. I wonder why there's no one about. And it's school holidays. Do you know what I mean? It's absolutely bare of people. Like everyone's been taken away. It's the summer holidays. It's the end of the first week, by the way. And I think some of them might not have broken up to Tuesday. I'm not sure. But I think most of them broke up last week. And... Now this is much better thinking I don't have to rush. I'd have to run now to get that bus. Run all the way there from here. I can't, I can't do it, but my knees won't let me. I don't want to anyway, because I want to go to the toilet and I want to try and get a cold drink. <sighs> I don't mind sitting down and eating my cheese and tomato while I wait for the bus. <sighs> but I need to track that bus that's coming now by at least 10 past. Over and out.